Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, priests and punishers, and welcome to Good Stuff Making Stuff. Today we are going to do something that has been kind of requested, except that I'm going to do it in a little bit of a third way. People have requested how to make a shotgun, so let's make an oversized one instead, because why not? So we are going here to start with actually taking this 2x4 and making some measurements on it. Um, it's very good to make it straightened. So on you see I have these plastic tubes which I'm going to use as barrels. And now I'm going to you know draw out, figure out and also attach the stock to it because I didn't find a very good wooden piece and didn't really know what I was doing at the moment but I figured this out. So. Use this as a guideline, it's not really an exact thing, because also this thing is going to be something completely different in the end, but due to it's going to look like a shotgun in the middle of it, I actually thought, well, let's go the whole way and show you this, because it's fun and also it's kind of requested for me to show you how to make a shotgun. Uh, I don't really know why, because I, don't, I think it's videos enough for that, but, uh, well, if you want to see me do it, I can absolutely abide with that. So, you see here, I have now made the little handling thing here due to this is oversized and ridiculous uh, the upper part that i showed there was not gonna be there but you will see later what i'm gonna do replace instead now we're gonna take a hinge and we are going to mark it a bit like that and you see i'm going to cut a little bit down to it so the hinge will be uh, lowered down and in line with the wood there you see so it can be like that i just screw this into the into the uh, plastic barrel there, but be sure to make it not too tight because then it will bend and it will be hard to. You see, now I'm just going to um, put glue and then rotate a bit so it will glue together like that. You can also attach this with screws and so, but this is actually sticking on quite good and you will see I will reinforce it. You see, here I'm going to put this vending machine ball here so it will line up like that. These kind of big things. I don't know. If there's still in Sweden, we don't really have vending machines around anymore. So I got it from my friend who was in Japan, because apparently they have big stuff like that. But anyway, you can use a Christmas ball or anything, and a Christmas ornament. Sorry, and you see now I have attached it and uh, with some screws, and I actually check it out if it's gonna hold very good in my hand. And I'll take this bo uh, this box from the exacto knives and just cut them in a line, and also put this. Uh, this things on here, these tubes here, it will actually have function. The f thing in the front here will just be, well, looking good. So you see, now we're going to have this smaller tube inside a little bigger tube on the side to make the locking mechanism. This is a very, very easy locking mechanism I'm making here by actually bending this little spike strip we have, like that. See? And now I have two of these there, and I'm going to cut them on uh, my knee. And don't do this, but I do it, but uh, I will not get complaints from that, so I'm sorry about that. Don't do it if you think it's wrong. Anyway, I know what I'm doing, I think. And repeating the same thing again. Anyway, uh, so le let's go away from that and uh, ignore what I'm doing. <laughs> Just put this little uh, this uh, thing there so you can have a little edge. Um, and pull it and it will open. And I'm going to cover that over with this thing so it will look a little more well align with the rest of the design of the gun and we are going to make the little what do you call it um thing around your finger there that i took to this this little spike strip and uh, actually just shape it around like that and if it doesn't look like it's a flat metal piece i'm going to put on some duct tape and just cut it and then fold it over and if you paint it and you will see it, you will not really see that it is um, that duct tape, it will kind of look like a metal thing. So we see that, and I'm going to punch a little bit of a hole here. So we can drill it with some screws. And also I'm going to bend this little bit of plastic and put it in a drilled hole to make the trigger. You see? And now we're going to attach that. Um, this is also a thing you, you, don't, you can do later, when after you have painted it, but I did it anyway to get a feel for it, if we're going to put some more stuff on this later on. 
which I will do, but you will not gonna see that. Anyway, so now yeah, I'm just shaping out the handle here, so it will look and feel a little bit better to hold in, and then put some plastic in it to go and paint a little black and then silver on it, so it will look a bit more like metal. And now we are going to take this off. You can also distress this and color it and so on, but uh, you have seen this, I do that in many of my other videos, so go check them out, I will. I do this regularly. So you see, I'm just gonna paint this thing brown here. And you see, now we are just going to put everything together because I took it apart and painted it. So you see, like that, and now we're gonna put some screws here and actually kind of messed it up a little bit. Um, so you see, I have to move it over there instead. Because mark where your things are going to be, see, like that, and I have to have put everything together there, and I am going to put on this little bit of a to cover up my um, my mistakes there. And you see I also put upside down the, the trigger guard, but uh, it looks okay. And now, you see, you will have a very cool big ass shotgun. You can use this to build uh, any of the Team Fortress things looks almost like this, so that you can be inspired by that. You see, it's quite ridiculous and big and fun. And you see, there we have some pictures of that there. Uh, I hope this was satisfying for you who requested a shotgun tutorial, and uh, well, I will make more videos soon, so stay tuned, bye!